My name is Kate Latoire, okay. and I'm a senior at Cypress Falls High School right now. Uh, I'm a guard. I play most of the perimeter positions, like one, two, and a little bit of three here and there. Yes, yeah, since about seventh grade, I've been playing year-round basketball. So when high school season's over, I go straight into summer AAU travel team ball. And I've been playing with the Houston Wildcats since about seventh grade. And uh, well, my last summer was last year, uh, going into my senior year. So I'm not playing right now. I'm working out with Coach Ed. Well, I'm graduating in a couple weeks, which can't come fast enough. But I'm planning on attending Harvard University to play basketball. It was surreal. It was so much to take in. I couldn't believe it. It was finally, you know, coming to the point where it was just about final, and um, I was just overwhelmed, really, with joy. And I was so blessed to be put in the position that I'm put in. And I had so many people to thank, and so many people that have supported me in even the littlest way. And you know, to have God give me that opportunity, you know, it's it's my responsibility to take advantage of it. That's good. That's good. I, it's an endless list, really. I mean, and just. One day you can learn so much from them. I think really you come in here and it's hot because there's no AC and you know there's very few water breaks so the mental aspect of the game just takes off and you really come to appreciate that more and he's pushing you not only as an athlete but just as in your character as well and he brings that so much and you walk out of the gym just feeling accomplished and he's also just a great guy in general you know you can go to him with an issue or just you know he's got a great outlook on life and you know he's experienced so much whether it's in the military or just training different people and really I mean it's an unbelievable resource to have and I'm really blessed to, to be able to train with him. My senior year really was crucial. Mm -hmm. I think it was just the really culminating factor of four years of blood, sweat, and tears. So if I had to remember one moment, it was when we beat Elsick in the regional final. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, something that we uh, we were working towards all year, and we had played them before. And I think we won by five, and we finally made it a two-possession game with about nine seconds left. And that's when it really hit me. I actually kind of started to tear up before the buzzer even went off. And then with three seconds left, I just collapsed on the floor. And my best friend, Trinice Robertson, who I played with forever, uh, came and found me and jumped on top of me and just started a dog pile. And that was really just maybe my fondest memory that I'll have for a while until I make some more. I've learned so much from everybody I've played against, but as far as differentiating myself, I really do try to focus on the mental aspect of the game and the, uh, the tangible approach, mm -hmm. uh, leading on the court vocally and by example, and really paying attention to detail. And that's another thing Coach said, Coach said has really taught me is the little things, you know, coming off a screen shoulder to shoulder rather than two feet away. And that really does get you an extra shot. So those little things and, and playing defense and making the correct pass is another thing that he's helped drill in me. And that's something that I can't think of enough because I thought I was pretty good at it before. But, you know, when you listen to him talk and his intelligence about the game, you really can learn so much. And so that's another thing that I am trying to add to my uh, repertoire. I think coming in here and training with uh, boys as well and having to step up and lead and really be vocal around maybe older boys or somebody who, you know, you feel is physically bigger than you and you're really just having to step up. And that really does translate off the court as well, you know, at school, at home, you know, with your friends. Just being a more assertive person really is a great thing to have. But you need to be assertive to the point where, you know, you're still respectful to your peers. And that's something that's very important because there's a difference between being assertive and just rude. So, but that's something that, once again, Coach said has taught me and that's something that I can take with me for the rest of my life. I think definitely it does start in the gym with yourself. If you love the game and uh, you're willing to do whatever it takes to be where you want to be, then there's really no stopping you. You just have to get in, you have to put in the extra work, and if you're not willing to do that, then you, know, you maybe won't see the results that you want to see. But if you do get in here and not only work on just actually shooting the ball, but maybe the less pretty aspects of the game that make you a better player and that do separate the good ones from the great ones.